Sturgeon declares she will call a fresh Scottish independence referendum for 2018 saying Brexit has left the union at a crossroads as she blames PM for forcing her hand. Nicola Sturgeon dramatically declared that she will call a fresh referendum on Scottish independence today as the PM prepares to fire the starting gun on Brexit. In a speech at her official residence in Edinburgh, the First Minister said the UK stood at a hugely important crossroads and Scotland must have a genuine choice about its future. Miss Sturgeon complained that she had been met by a brick wall of intransigence from Mrs May when she demanded a special deal in the looming negotiations. The UK government has not moved even one inch in search of compromise and agreement, she said. In what amounts to a massive political gamble, Miss Sturgeon said she would now demand authority from the UK government to trigger an independence referendum as early as autumn next year. M. Sturgeon said the UK government agreed in 2014 that a second referendum should be triggered by a material change in circumstances. She said, these conditions have of course now been met. I can confirm that next week I will seek the authority of the Scottish Parliament to agree with the UK government the details of a Section 30 order, the procedure that will enable the Scottish Parliament to legislate for an independence referendum. The Labour leader's own MPs accused him of a special kind of idiocy after the comments, which appeared to contradict official party policy. He has since clarified that he does not support a referendum being held, but does not believe the Westminster government could block one. Mr Corbyn told BBC Radio 4's Today programme, if the Scottish Parliament decided they wanted to have a referendum then it would be wrong for Westminster to block it. But let's be absolutely clear, I do not think there should be another referendum, I think that independence would be economically catastrophic for many people in Scotland. It would lead to a sort of turbocharged austerity with the levels of income the government has in Scotland and because of the very low oil prices and the high dependency on oil tax income. income.